All right, YouTube, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday morning, I think. Actually, it doesn't even matter why I say what date it is. But here we go. I'm giving you an update on what we got here. So I sprayed that uh, rust neutralizing stuff on here the other day that I showed you guys. And, um, and then I went over with a black rust reformer um, from uh, Rust-Oleum. I thought it was the same product, but it isn't. I'm going to get under there later on today. But I sprayed this, this little corner right here down real good. And it neutralized the rust. And I wiped everything down real good with some, some good engine degreaser. These are coming out pretty soon. I'll probably get working on those. But uh, I'm real happy with the way the frame turned out. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to spray some uh, gloss black over it. And uh, i still got a few spots I want to... I want to get degreased down and and uh, wear a wheel a little bit, but everything is looking real good for this budget build here. It's um, it's coming out pretty good. I got a couple cans of spray paint in it, and then uh, uh, went through the body and did a bunch of. Uh, let's see here. I sprayed that rust reformer stuff in there, and it turned it black to neutralize the rust trying to get to all the rust I don't really want to fix it there's there's quite a bit to fix but I sprayed it in there and it turned nice and black and looking pretty good and that's what I did up here too where this pinstripe was holding this moisture in I just sprayed that black and like one more treatment and that that rust will be neutralized it won't be there anymore so this is why I don't like pinstripe or anything because it just holds in this moisture. You can feel the rust behind that. I'm going to have to get that taken off. But this is where I got on the donor motor yesterday. I got uh, both alternators off, the fan belt off, and I soaked down the uh, manifold bolts real good. They're going to be they're going to be real tough to do, so I'm not sure how I'm even going to get those off, so I might have to break them, cut them, something. I don't know. But uh, we got motor mount bolts left. We still got fuel lines, rest of the wiring harness and all that. So, okay, that's it for now. Um, I'll get back to you guys when I get some uh, progress. Pretty good. Not too bad. Update. I got all the exhaust manifold bolts out. I did. I worked on them uh, real good yesterday. I soaked them down. Absolutely soaked them with PB Blaster. And some of the bolts I noticed had, you know, four lock washers on them. And it, it really made getting them out that much easier. So it's kind of interesting, wondering if at some time somebody put all these on there. Um, but every one came out, not one broke off. And on the other side, the back ones looked, I mean, they looked really bad when I, when I was first starting it. So I wasn't sure I was going to get any of them off. So what I did was I started hammering on it as I got, you know, not ham, not beating on it to break it, just to tap on it. I tapped on these knobs a bunch and a lot of the scale came off and a lot of the scale came off the bolts but as i got each bolt out going back <clears throat> by the time we got to that back one way back there it it almost moved tapping on it so i think that broke up a lot of the rust and the scale and i think that sure helped a lot so i'm gonna uh, strap these manifolds up to the side then i'm gonna probably work on the motor mount bolts one on each side um, I think I'm going to finish taking this off. I'm not sure how much room I'm going to have with this plow blade on the front here. It's got six bolts holding it on. I really should just take it off, but don't really want to. So I got the six manifold bolts still. Got to unhook the starter, some coolant lines, and finish pulling back that wiring harness. She's coming along pretty good. So I'll turn it back on when I got a better update. All right, everybody, we're back at it here this morning. Um, I've, I got the motor out of here yesterday, 
Um, I just took my time. You know, I didn't really push that hard on it. I wasn't that, uh, that, uh, enthused about getting it done. So, um, we got it done late last night, five o'clock and then decided it was dinner time and, and just, um, just ate dinner and then relaxed and watched some TV and stuff, but enjoying this time off. But that's, uh, that's what the transmission looks like in there. You know, the three bell housing bolt or the three uh, torque converter bolts you got to get out. And then the six bell housing bolts, they were actually surprisingly easy. Um, I dropped the starter down there. That's an old starter. I don't know. I might use it. Might not. I have a brand new one that I was supposed to go back in that when I put it back in, but for some reason I didn't put it in there. So, um, motor's out. This is, and luckily we did too, because right on one of them fuel lines right there, I don't know if you can see that that's wet right there, but, um, when I was backing it up, my daughter said, see that water down there? That's, uh, I thought that, you know, because I, I had to cut the power steering line last thing. And I said, uh, you know, it's probably just power steering fluid leaking. And my daughter said, oh, no, that's, that's not power steering fluid. So I looked at it, and there was a pinhole in the, in the fuel line. So these rusty old vehicles, and you can see right there that brake line's broke. Uh, let's see here. Can you, let me see. I don't know. I can't tell if you can see that in the camera. There's that much missing of the, the brake line right there. And this whole thing was soaking wet yesterday. One of these, one of these brake lines went out on it yesterday. I had no, no brake pedal at all. But, uh, you know, amazingly, it doesn't look, you know, that rusty from the outside. But, but she, uh, she's pretty bad. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that bed off and try to uh, recoup some money on that, that bed. I really like it, though. I'm not sending it to the crusher. The rest of it I don't care about. It's just going to go to the crusher. I'm probably even going to leave the plow frame on it. Um, I, I don't like snow plows on, on pickup trucks that much. They They just, you know, to have a plow truck sitting in the yard, it just costs so much money to have sitting there. So, uh, some of the things we're going to do on this, I want to get all the pulleys off and cleaned up really good. I'd, I don't know if it's in the budget or not to buy a, a, a powder coating machine. I'd really like to. I'd like to powder coat those two aluminum brackets. Um, I don't even know if I can do the water pump. I'd sure like to try. But all the pulleys and stuff, I'd like to powder coat them. But everything's at least going to get painted um, because of all that rust. You know, to me, I've always said that that um, that um, washing a vehicle is part of maintenance, and I strongly believe in that because washing a vehicle, you know, helps keep this rust off. So I got another set of valve covers I think I'm going to use instead of these, and this plug looks a little bit different. I got to do some investigation on that, see if I might have to take the other throttle body off to put on there, but... Um, that's where we stand so far. Um, I'm going to take everything apart as much as I can, clean it up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. This has that stupid... See, even that seal is just loose. These things leak all the time. So I think I'm going to delete that and put a regular... Regular... Some kind of nipple on it that will just come out. And I can put a regular um, heater core line on it. That goes to the heater core. But I'm going to get all this cleaned up. Pressure washed down. Uh, degreased. And I, I just want everything at least painted nice it, because, you know, it just keeps rusting and the rust helps slow down the paint. And this is what it's going in here. I got I got a lot of this. This looking pretty good, looking real good. Um, I don't think there's much more to scale off here. I don't think I'm going to put much more, much more work into this. I think I'm just going to um, throw some black paint over it that I have and then I'm going to get underneath and get the inside of the frame rails while there's no transmission in it So that's our update as of now, you know, I'm still about 650 bucks invested in in this uh, budget build here um, it, it is going to get an LS someday. I got a truck. Let's see a red truck behind that blazer up there It's got a 4.8 in it and um I was going to swap it with that, but it does have a, the motor seized right now. So um, with this downtime, you know, this was just sitting around rusting more. So I figured I'll throw this in. My big yellow blazer there needs so much work the, the, uh, uh, to, to get it the way I want it. And I eventually want a four-speed, which is what that one has in it. So 
I'm going to start um, collecting the parts to do an LS swap on this. I'm not sure when that'll be, but I don't want to have this down for the winter, and I want to get the bugs worked out of it and stuff. So, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get it together, and um, we'll go from there. You know, I thought about changing some stuff around, but I don't know yet. So that's where we're at for now. I'm going to go ahead and get this motor cleaned up. I'll show you what I do along the process and, and how I do. I might just sandblast them brackets and, um, you know, clean them up, maybe shot some clear coat on them or something. The problem with up here in the northeast with all the moisture and the salt and everything, we put a brand new intake manifold on that blazer last year, and it's already starting to, to show some uh, aluminum oxidation on it, and I don't like that. So um, we're going to figure out something to do, how to protect all these metal surfaces up here in the northeast. So uh, that's what we got for now. I don't know if I'll upload this or not, but... Uh, um, if you like my content, please subscribe and uh, hit that like button and uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you think I'm wasting my time here on this old girl or, or if you think it's worth the, the time and a couple of bucks to get her going again. So um, talk to you later. Bye.